it seems like podcast is big and it's also becoming much more mature uh, as an advertising platform. Uh, tell us a little bit about where that stands in terms of um, the kinds of marketers that are embracing it, the kinds of ad units, and what you're sort of providing in terms of performance. It's a great question. It's been an amazing journey just the past couple of years because we've seen a tremendous growth of new brands and advertisers really embracing audio, but specifically podcasting. Um, so ACAS started in 2014, and since then it's been a long journey of introducing the basic technology to be able to run campaigns on a global scale uh, and at the way that brands are kind of accustomed to doing in digital media. And with audio, it comes with a lot of different uh, tool sets for brands um, and podcasting specifically. You're so close and intimate with the listener uh, that you, any type of advertising really, really reaches through. And it's a medium that's still quite early in its day that you have attention really um, from the audience that they're, that they're listening and downloading and, and spending so much time listening to podcasts. Uh, and brands are coming from all types of places. We see all categories are now represented. Um, and larger brands are stepping in at a global scale to really embrace it. And the formats that are available to them is not only audio advertising. What's, what makes podcasting quite different than music streaming or radio is that is the intimacy, but also that you can use different ways of expressing yourself. You can even have longer branded content within episodes and within content that really fits well, and it doesn't turn any listener off to the experience, which I think is the most important part here, is really creating a, a medium where, where brands are invited and appreciated um, which is what we, we, we want to protect in the podcasting space. So do the brands create their own creative? Do the agencies create the creative? And sort of what, is sort of the, what are some of, um, some of the flavors of the creative medium that are in podcasting? Yeah, so lots of different flavors. Um, we work, we also created our own internal studio to help brands. ACAST Creative is a global initiative that we're uh, working on the past couple of months and are, are staffing up against because brands are so interest in the medium, but I also need some help to find best practice. And now working with thousands of advertisers across the globe, we bring a lot of best practices and how you, how you treat audio and, and, and podcasting specifically. As it is so intimate, you really don't have a lot of room to uh, uh, you know, scream and shout that much. You really have to find the right kind of tonality and also alignment with the actual content that's listened to, whether it's true crime or comedy or a short form or news broadcast. Um, it's a different ways to kind of approach it. But then we work a lot with creative agencies who are more and more so embracing audio and figuring out what brands really sound like and using that as a, as a way in. Because uh, podcasting is the most mindful of medium and you have to kind of pay attention in the, in the creative process to, to really make it successful. That's really where the magic is. And finally, what, is, is, what does targeting mean or addressability or delivering the right message? I'm not sure how that works in podcasting. Yes, it's still quite content driven. We, we use data as, I mean, as a tech company. Data is the, the core of what we do to understand how, how listeners behave, what they listen to, what other recommendations we can give them to, to, to discover more podcasts. It's a big, big thing that we work on. Uh, for, for advertisers, there's a ton of things you can do with data. You can target uh, demographics. You can find contextual related uh, data points. You can target audiences that way. Um, so the, the, the data is now there. So it really is a digital medium that you can use. But the, the, the secret sauce with podcasting we see most success is brands really understanding what kind of content listeners are, are tuning into. So you find a good alignment creatively there and really make that work at scale. But with technology and with targeting, you as a brand, as an advertiser, can reach you know, a, a large reach audience. And then 90 million Americans listen to podcasts every month now. And uh, podcasts is starting to become a mass medium. Uh, so it's a really great opportunity to reach a, lot of, a large audience using technology and data that way.